everyone, I have the genius idea for a video. Through my use of grammar and spelling technique, we will be doing our savior, Valkyrie that jumps. So this is my savior, <laughs> savior Valkyrie prototype combo with TP OP dash. This is supposed to emulate the shot gimmick. Realistically, there's not really a driver I could give. Technically speaking, the closest thing would be reboots because of how the gimmick works. But I just want to emulate the, the jumping part. So obviously, I've given it 4A and attack mode on oper attack mode on operate dash. Bada bing, bada boom. A Valkyrie that jumps. Hold on, wait, let me let me make sure I got this right. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. A Valkyrie that jumps. My genius even surprises myself. Yeah. All right, all kidding aside, uh, let's see how bad this combo is or really good. Uh, yeah, this is, this is my prototype save your Valkyrie combo. Uh. This combo is... Look, look at how good it is. It just took down range. Uh, listen, honestly, it's a fun combo. It's a fun combo. Completely useless, but fun. All right, come on. Get rage. Yeah, the jumps. It is probably not going to work out, will it? Oh, that's a... It's going to be such a meme. It's going to be... Uh, I'm saying it right now. It's really gonna be a meme if this thing wins easily. I'm calling it. Rage, watch out. <laughs> the jumps. The jumps. Uh, the jumps. No. It's all right, we're gonna try one more against Rage. One more. Whoa, hey, hey. Okay. Maybe, maybe this really is not working well. Wait, wait, we're alive? Okay. Never mind. Honestly, like, I'm gonna be honest right now. That that that, Val that Valkyrie release when it comes out July 17th or whenever we get it, obviously, gonna be such a meme. It's gonna be a meme. But if on the off chance it's actually gonna be really good, I will be there. The gimmick of shot does not sound that promising. Obviously, because I mean. We've seen jumping stuff before, and how successful have they been? Well, I guess technically judgment, but that was more of a weight thing with Drago Valkyrie on the go. I think at best, realistic as possible, it probably maybe, maybe, maybe could be good with KOing. That is like the best possibility, that it can KO. Because the idea, the idea, the idea with that Valkyrie release, obviously, is going to be, it's the fact that it's jumping, the gravity is messed up, and it's probably going to have bound, and when the jump and the bound probably hits, it can probably KO or something like that, hopefully. The thing is, is that Valkyrie is held to a high standard. Obviously, it won't be as bad as Slash. But how good will it be overall is the real question. Now, I remember we doubted Vanish. Well, I say we, I don't really, did I doubt Vanish? I don't know if I doubted Vanish, unless I doubted Vanish. 
but there was some that thought Vanish would be like the next wizard. I assume by what they mean by the next wizard or the next slash was like burst easy or weak, but you know, Vanish, hey, look at it. Better than we thought. It's gonna take a lot for it's gonna take a lot for it to really make me decide whether or not it's bad. Either way, I just think those parts are just gonna have a lot of potential. Like, they will have a lot of potential for videos. Like, let's be honest now. All right. F gear, belly owl. And then after we end off the video. This, this, this was a fun combo. Yeah, and either way, we, we, we still need like, well, I was gonna say we need like TT's like footage to judge it, but like TT also rigs it in the stuff because obviously they have to advertise the release. Like I don't think TT is thinking when they're gonna showcase a new release that they wanna make it lose. That's why it was really funny to those that actually remember it, when Dynamite Battle was had the launch stream, they showed off Dynamite's Belial with the F gear, and it lost to Cyclone Ragnarok. So you can tell that was authentic because they did it in real time. But obviously, you know, they're tricky. Like for an example, if it somehow gets a burst, they'll show the side view. But a lot of times they show the top angle, and a lot of times. You know, I feel they could be giving them actually not the correct parts. Like for an example, let's say they do, it's a good release. Like they do Cyclone Ragnarok against the, the, the save, Savior Valkyrie. And let's say for some reason, Savior managed to outspin Cyclone. And the reality could be TT just gave it survive instead of never. So that's sort of like a fun fact for those wondering. There is also the, the, I'm going into Beyblade conspiracy theories. There's also the, the idea that they could possibly be shaving the chips or whatever to make weaker burst resistance on this stuff. Which, it, it, it makes sense either way, like, you know. Now the, the funny thing, right? And this is true. It's that what they'll tend to do is they'll, they'll pick a weak release, or a release that's weak for that time, and they'll put it up against the new release to make it look good. In the past, it's been something like Bushin Ashura or Heaven Pegasus or Glide Ragnarok. And now recently it's with Death Solomon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this silly combo. If you want to make your Valkyrie jump, uh, just use that. And thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day. Bye.